So, Speaker McCarthy and yourself have said that multiple times now, that we need to arm Taiwan now before there's any sort of invasion. What about U.S. troops? I think, you know, then you're talking about um, an authorized use of military force that would come out of my committee or a declaration of war, which we haven't utilized since World War II. Would you support that? I think if, uh, if, if China, Communist China, invades Taiwan, uh, I think that is um, certainly, if the American people support this, uh, the Congress will follow. House Foreign Affairs Chairman Michael McCall signaling he is open to sending American troops to fight in Taiwan. Aisha Hosni has the exclusive report from Taipei. Good morning, Aisha. Good morning to you, Dana. Good to see you. You know, this is very different than what we heard right before uh, the war on Ukraine, when lawmakers were very adamant that there would absolutely be no U.S. troops, no boots on the ground. Now we're learning that this is very much a possibility when it comes to Taiwan. In my exclusive interview with Chairman uh, McCall, he tells me that sending American men and women to war is the last resort. Conflict is the last resort. Deterrence is key here, but authorizing war powers is not out of the question. So you're saying that the option to authorize war powers is on the table? If Communist China invaded Taiwan, it would certainly be uh, on the table and, and something that would be discussed by Congress uh, and with the American people. Are they prepared to do this? Is Taiwan worth it? Uh, I can argue for a lot of reasons why it is. It's been leading a three-day bipartisan delegation to Taiwan focused on arming Taiwan to deter any moves by Beijing. Today, he met with Taiwan's equivalent of House Speaker, who told Fox he would welcome U.S. troops if China were to invade. The group will meet with President Tsai later tonight, who just met with House Speaker Kevin McCarthy in California. And when I asked McCall why the speaker wasn't here in person on the ground to meet with Tsai here in Taiwan, he told me that the reasoning behind that was sensitive, but he did believe that there were plans in place for a visit in the future. Dana. Aisha Hosni in Taipei for us. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.